put a little link. So in the in the name of the class, we said style of caring. And it's not exactly that we'll start just saying again Spanish curves, angles, and blah blah blah. I'll just try to approach it a little bit differently in the sense of the character, one of the important characterizations is our, I hope I'm not muted. No, I'm not muted. Good. Is a lot of slow motion under control. Uh, passionate, dynamic, fight, saving life might be all done with a with a class of even style means we're not getting wild, we're not getting a visually aggressive. We can we can have it inside, we can go through some of the shapes into the earth, but we don't want to look primitive like like I know, like animals fighting just like whoever being so we want to keep our sophisticated campaign. Yes. And and this video, for example. Show how this two fighters was contained, how their skill and their awareness of what can be is, is there, but the ability to maintain control is, is a big part of, of what their mastery is. And for us, it needs to be a big part of our presentation. We also touch a little bit on the matter of intention. And how visualization of what we're going to do can really help us to go through the movement seamlessly or with less effort, and how lack of clarity or wrong intention can give us the resistance. So, one of like a simple exercise, oh, something we do was doing last lesson. If I say you turn your head to the right. But then it has to like, think that you want to turn it to the left, but now turn it to the right. You say, oh, how? How do you say the reason I think you can use but And vice versa. If my intention is here, I'm visualizing my position with the head to the right, and I walk, go there, this is a simple image, a simple action. But it, it can be that different than like, oh, what's where some turn or visualize look. And of course, now when we will be talking about the positions and how a specific line is formed, we'll place it, we'll try to record it in our visual memory, in our uh, kinetic memory, muscle memory. And then the motor will be starting again with absolutely no wobbling. We'll try to Build this intention, build this line in our head, and then we'll try to let our muscles follow a prepared shape. It's like you creating some space around yourself, and you know exactly which way you want to go in each direction, and then it needs to be done. There is no hesitancy, there is no doubt. No delay or resistance because when we do some bad combination and a single movement you do greatly, sometimes the flow is very like stumbling. So, how let's say is it visualization of the path? And I also give you a different kind of look, a different kind of confidence, a different kind of efficiency. So, if I'm visualizing, let's say I'm doing the turn. I will change my weight, so I'm visualizing the pass of my weight, I'm visualizing a swing of my arm, I'm visualizing the flow of my shoulders around my neck, and then I'm also visualizing what it will be my finish line. For example, I want to relax. So wait. Uh, this gives me a seamless movement, less resistance along the way, and probably more clarity in the head of it. So we'll be doing a few lines, a few movements, but we'll try to make this path for our lesson. Doing a certain specific passer characterized line, recognizing the width, the twist, the resistance, the angles, the attitude, recording it all, and then building up in our head. And then we'll try to feel this line immediately. Yeah? 
let's try. So our first uh, action, I'll, I'll do some of my bits and you can see and it's very simple. So we'll be staying uh, on two feet together with elevation of the ball of the foot, and then we'll be doing right leg back, left leg forward into press line. Then we'll be collecting our arms in front across, and then the right arm will go above the head to the back, while the left arm will be close in front. So again, so two toes together, straight way, arm collection, and now turning the torso to give our line uh, a characterized Spanish twisted look. Mm -hmm. So just again, a few more details. Split. You decide. Do you want to be a little more compact? Do you want to go a little wider and challenge the discipline on your big toe, the discipline on your canal? So wider or smaller? Make it just challenging in some way. Uh, the second action will be collecting our arms across. So when you do this, I would like you to think that the invitation comes from the belly. And from the moment they cross, the rotation of your torso will be leading your elbow to the back and a little compression between your biceps and pecs will be giving a little bit extra defense on the front. Yeah? Good. So let's start with the first one. Split. A visualization of turn out through your pelvis. A visualization of the order. It's not two legs at the same time. I'm first using my left to push my right back. And then as soon as I have somewhat a reference point, I'm opening my uh, left a little bit further. So here would be a change. When it's there, are we aware of the challenge between straight leg behind us and desire to keep our pelvis pressed forward? So this is where you might physically remember the discomfort of pressing your knee into straight against pulling your pelvis into more forward. So depending on the flexibility of your hip joints, this groin area might feel chilled and straight. Yeah. Then, when you hit your front, a, uh, again, this straight leg, the turnout, and the feeling of bringing the flesh of my inner thigh a little more forward and kind of in, uh, for display is one more uh, sensation, physical sensation you can record. Mm -hmm. Good. So now let's just take a moment. To stay, if you need to close your eyes, you can. If not, you can just visualize yourself in this position, how wide, how deep, how it turned out, and perform. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, it, no, no command on my side. Think that whatever you recorded, you play it in your mind, and then get into position. You need to feel like something you do without thinking. Like you see red light, you don't really think to push on your brakes. It just happens. There is no, oh, if it's red light, then I should take my leg and put it on the braking mass. There is no such thing. You just push it without even thinking. So we want to do the same about the getting into position. Ready? Taking a moment, building the image inside your head. And when you feel ready, surprise me. Yeah, if you don't have to do it on, on yes, don't get distracted. It's also the peace of mind. Let's say so that is now getting ready for the competition. There might be all the noises and sounds. While you get ready for class, find a way to be in your bubble and be only tuned between your own brain and your body and, and disconnect from distractions around. Ready? Yes. And one more time. 
take a moment to to get your inside, visualize, find the moment of breath when it's a good time to hit the line. Okay, 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 not bad. We don't need the arm yet because there is much more to do in this position. Let's see how we can be very powerful of pushing our leg back. So let's just for a moment stay stable and visualize this piercing action. Like if there will be something behind you, you will not push against it, you will pierce it. So we're ready and we look, but very strong. Now the same just will not into the air, but on into the floor. And when it's hitting the floor, you can give much more expression to the front leg. Thank you very much. So all the part of the visualization makes your front foot goes up on a big toe, like think that this this surface is like a one of your keyboards. Yes, the so, like they will be able to fight, like you guys can see they fight with everything. So this would be one of the uh, services. So just to do like in my sister to do that much to resolve thinking. I need about so just I will ignore some of your hands, but not all of them. So, ready. Let's take a moment to visualize piercing. And then, what I was saying to Olga, the front uh, ankle area is a place to like impact and create a little punch forward into the front space. Ready. Visual, visualize not just the line, but the way how you get there. You're not sneaking, you feeling the space like now. Nah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Better than yet. No arms yet. Just clarify the depth and, and the opening. Yes, ready. One more time. But I really, really need you to practice not just the line, but how you quiet in your mind and how you visualizing it. And then when you get into this form, there is absolute clarity. Yes, uh, that's good. We'll go just a little bit more. For any movement, your whole body is an instrument, is a tool to be used. If, for example, Melissa, I'll use you as an example, you were thinking about it, but your body was absent. So your mind was present. I probably I see that you are thinking about it, but the tone in the body was not cooperating. So the moment when you when you get in there, it's like think of a little when the wind is blowing over the lake, a little wind, and like a little chill. I don't know what the English word for this. Like a little when the wind, when the light wind blowing about the lake or, or the ripple, ripple, ripples, but not like like when you throw in stone. The ripples, but just a little kind of wave, like a, a small, a small vibration of the water. So feel that the whole body is in anticipation in this sense that now. When the command is will command will come, boom, you need to respond immediately like, like a charged weapon. Yeah? So ready, mind is there, visualization is there, and the body is ready to that's it, that's it. That's it all. Very good. Yes, and Melissa. Yeah, we'll just all watch how you get into your mind, and then from there you visualize. No limitation of what you used to do. Your mind can, can you imagine that you will be a, a, a queen of Great Britain? Yeah. You sit on the throne with a, with a, <laughs> in a crown and like everybody serving you tea. So we went up to the, your imagination can do many things. And it can be bigger, wider, faster, and like, just imagine it and let you believe a little more than, than you used to practice. 
plan. It's all about the document performance. Can you give inside? Okay, there's a destruction of, of the viewers. Let's get to the next thing. When we're visualizing collection, how we think a little suction in the belly that goes through the ribs and through the pecs and through the let's say the inner surface of your forehead to the way you're crossing. Yes, this way. And then a little stabilization of the elbows to kind of chop, chop, chop here. Mm -hmm. So baby ribs and this step, yes. Remembering pass of the belly, pass of the ribs, and pass of your uh, inner surface, including the, the yes, all the nice, including the pinky and, and the palm and everything, yeah. So and let's we'll just do only this. Ready? And take a moment from neutral, very ribs to cross. Good. Good, very nice. And yes, yes, uh, explore a little bit. Let's just feel until when it's okay, where it become a little uncomfortable. This going into. And let's do this like a little snake sound. Or a sound. Yeah, uh, like you, you can even check it. Oh, the very good, yes. <laughs> Good. Now we know how far we can go. Let's get there instantly. That's it. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we have a right in the chair, but it sounds very cool. And your gesture is very specific. Yeah? Can we now build the pattern of two elements now again? Ta da! Split, cross. I do it a few times. And split cross. Yeah. Breathe. Visualizing. And as we cross and turning, let's uh, come to all of you and up, up, just put your arms in front and cross. And now your job will be to turn your torso, look at Joseph for a moment. So that his uh, the outside surface of his arm shaking a little more round here, and he presses it right into the space behind his head. So this is a visualization started from your sternum, and you turning, and this goes this way. So you visualize it maybe a uh, uh, preparing a knife to go, serving a tennis serve or. Or just dancing, paso, Spanish arm here. Good. And at this time, you will be also moving just a little more across. So this one, I don't know, across. You need to press it into me. Yes. This in the back, and this one across. The thing that the biceps want to press into your legs, into your knife this time. Yes. Good. And hopefully, Yeah. Great. So on the cross. You will press this into the bra a little bit, and this turning from your sternum into the back space. Beautiful, that's good. But now, hold on. Pressing this into your bra. Into, yes. Yes. So, think that you might have a chance to put it a little bit under to give it, again, it might be a little bit about to give a darker characterization. It might be a little bit under. To give a more proud characterization. Oops, yes, head from cross. Visualizing how this goes into the leg space and the bar. Yes, remembering where it finishes, how it went there. Yes. Nikolai? Yes. Is there any way when you're demonstrating Joseph so that we could see him as well? Absolutely, yes, yes. Sorry about it. I'm just yes, hearing yes. about it, but we can't see it. Well, okay. the same thing with everyone. Now I'll just give them. So when Suzanne is, is, is here and she has the lines, doors, yes, and 
Ah, good. So now I'm helping to visualize the path up. So you're thinking real resistance and to the back and visualizing the, the outside surface of your arm. Good. And now the other aspect is pressing your arm a little bit across your bra. So it's back, you know how far. And twist it from here again from the center to the back and cross, and you know where you finish. Good, very nice. Uh, uh, um. Yes. Let's get through this free element using our visualization. We can do first one at a time. So visualize, hit the line. Visualize, cross. Visualize, put yourself right into this third one. Yeah? Ready. Take our moment to feel quiet, to see the line, how cool we look at it, and hit the line one. Shoot. Take a moment, visualize your crossing of the arms. It will go from the belly to the ribs, visualizing and performing it. Now, visualizing the pass of your arm to the back, take a moment. Execute. Yes. Beautiful. We'll do one more time. Just as soon as you hit the line, quiet, see the next action, then produce it. Ready? Yes, quiet. Vibrating inside here that we are ready to respond to our decision. Beside the drop of the legs, you can choose the speed. You can visualize the best will be fast. Or again, you can draw a picture. Or you can draw a picture. So it's just, uh, again, you drawing the, or you and your teacher, a particular design. Mm -hmm. So I'm out of the picture. I'm watching you. I don't know where is the V. Yeah. yeah. Take a moment. Get him ready. And I don't want you to be distracted by any of my grants. So I'm just saying now go for this exercise. Planning, action, one at a time. Exercises begin. Yes, that's it, that's it. Good job, good job. Uh, Jim, give yourself just a little more, like remember this video, the guys just don't have to close your eyes, but give yourself more quiet time before acting. You hit the line, but you was in motion. Don't have to be motionless, but we're practicing a little more clarity, a little more. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Yes, good. This looks better. Good, very nice. Up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. So let's get into planning this three acts together. So 
the visualization of the path surface is for us to go bam, 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 without feeling any problems of problems of undecisiveness, because we don't know. Plan your path and then be absolutely not mindless, but no critique, no analytics within it. There is no time to analyze once you're performing this combo. Yeah? So I don't go like extra fast, but then one, two, three. Let's pick the space. One, two, three. And this will be your one, two, three. I'm not counting, it's your own decision. Yes. Very nice, you know. The hundred of you, you mix the one and two. Da 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 da. So when we draw in, our group just a little bit down, poof, so there is a pass for the cross. That's good. I will just use a little more memory of the turning the torso so because this is a better light. Yes. Uh, we can, let's say, do the basic form and then you can develop it. But go one, two, three. So there is a ta, 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 ta. Yes, yeah, so like, and then of course I will escape and, and you will go to the. Yes. Right. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes. Marilyn, wonderful. That's a very good presentation of of your skill. So again, when you watch the video, you cannot do battle if you don't know what, what to do. <laughs> this guy's like closing their eyes and and in their mind is a little carousel. <laughs> they can, yeah. Uh, uh, let's let's do the same for the for the following element. So we'll grab a one, two, three here. The next, there will be a wider of your arm. You will collect your legs and please. No, 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 I'm not very sorry. I I, I need to do that with the next one. Yes, yeah, so this will be our next Kung Fu sequence. Yes, yeah, so once you're staying here, you will be changing weight over the front foot. You will be swinging your left arm to the top. You will be pivoting. And there will be a moment when your uh, right arm reaching and clapping on top. And after you give this relay, you keeping the right arm above and you finishing the turn with the left arm down. So from more split way, it will be one, two, three. So I think that when you're hitting your uh, left arm with the right, you're offering a surface for the left arm to slide down through. So it will be one, two, three. So this is sliding down. This might go a little bit above the cannon, stay up. We will decide in a second. Mm -hmm. So let's do it all facing the mirror so nobody's confused. Oh, I'll just do so I have seen from there too. Here, we stay in our line. Wait for it. It's one of the testing. Feeling from here, this line allows us to walk a little bit and connect to the front leg. Now, arms. Let's just do a few times a little bit there. Walk. Walk. Focus on your shoulder blades. How the, you know, excluding your, your back from this action. Yes. Good. Yes. So now two things together. Forward and windmill. Yes. Forward and windmill. Number three. Let's do the windmill and turn. Windmill and turn. Yes. So this arm is lifting, left one is lifting, but we turn. Yes. That's good. So now three of them together. Weight change, windmill, and rotation. Yes. And four, yeah. 
So visualize the way forward, forward and way and windmill, windmill and rotation. Next, this arm should be enough for you to feel it and step small split weight. Right arm swinging from down and flapping up into the left hand. Now when we sliding down, when we like doing this, we turn. So feel that this is a moment of connection. It's your trigger to turn. So let's try this swing. Very nice, very nice. Keep it just a little bit higher. So there will be more of obvious drop. Yes. Ah, yes, this arm which drops down should feel like it's putting the shoe down on our helmet. Beautiful, Vivian. Huh? This line is just super cool. Yeah. So a few more times here. I'm just repeating. So this is one of the aspects moving forward. We can remember the feeling of front leg receiving the weight. Adding our shoulder blades into the windmill. A few more times, moving and windmill. Now, and turning your torso. So the most when you go forward, and ready to feel it, and do split weight, clap, and after the clap, turn. Yep. It will be all together. Ta, ta, ta. Don't fall in there. Yeah. Ta, ta. I think one little thing when I'm trying to optimize what I'm slightly mis, mis explained. You don't really hold your back leg long. When you go, it passes right, right underneath. So don't really do the holding it behind. So when yep. Mm -hmm. Almost, almost so. That's how we becoming a full philosophy. I'm going forward and I'll go down and up. And now when you hit it, you'll raise. It was okay with the but then I cannot do separate because that yeah. very good three uh, movements. Okay. So, so we got three. So when we have the separate three. So let's try separate your proper with twist and split weight. Yes, no, yeah, I don't have. Yeah. When you do this, you yeah. straight on the leg in front. Oh, okay. Yes, and put it a little oh, more across. Oh. So you're staying slightly on the separate tracks, put it a little more across. Okay. Then you will have okay. a better feeling of. And uh, beautiful, beautiful, yes. It allows this one to hang down to you. So if you take a moment to notice your yes, yes, exactly. Okay, so let's take a time, a moment to visualize this pattern. Ta -ra -ta -ta. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go through it like we're dropping ourselves into the flow of the river, into the fast river stream. It will carry us through. We don't know exactly where, but we'll take the risk. Okay. Yes, yes, a little variation is absolutely fine. Uh, three and four. 
Yes. Just don't overturn. Melissa, try to notice how you can uh, keep up. Find a momentary focus, a moment, a little short moment of anchoring yourself, uh, looking, let's say, at your left toe or in the direction of your left toe before swinging the arm. So here, when I swing and pass, there is a little moment of anchoring to the back space. And this that is not straight. Yes, or chart. I'm partial. <laughs> you see, you see all the trouble I have. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 With a soft knee and then finish. Yes, just just don't overturn. So you did good, but then you see a foot is finished like this. Of course, it's inviting you to. Yeah. So, uh -huh. one last piece of visualization. When we're doing the last line, can we think that the leg opens away from a more stable right leg? So, left is opening rather than both like going together. Of course, the right will be moving too. But the left one, this should feel more like we want to enter it. And this one like we want to express it out. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Almost all of it is here. You do your clap. And I yes. think that, uh, can you please land in this position? So here. two enemies at the same time. So one enemy is here with the butt and one enemy is here with the knee. Boom. Yes. So these are two punches. So this is not a stroke. You don't go too much here. You're thinking of stopping it here and projecting a lot in your knee. Yes. Yes, Jim. Okay. Okay. Let's visualize the whole path. Split, cross, open. One, two, three. Yes? From the very beginning? From the very beginning, okay. yes. So let's do it again. Always at the moment to quiet our mind and visualize the movement. One movement at a time. Okay. Ready, ready. Um. Breathing, alertness of the body, quiet mind, visualizing a beat, turn out and split and bubble. Taking four reefs, arms, <sighs> visualizing the opening, and <laughs> yes. So, what I did differently, I, I put in my visual final position, and I put this position as 
something monumental, grounded, solid. And there was a little more clarity on getting there. Yeah? Ready. I'm not dancing, I'm looking at you. And uh, all take your face, I'll just give you like a little. Uh, Tips. Tips. No, no, I'm just saying, go. No, I'm not saying anything. Please find your own pace. You should be there. Yeah, because the paper will be counting. You will be, you will be not creating from inside. You will be outside. I need you to be inside. That's it. You have your exercise started. I like it very much because a very common situation at the group class. But even if the combination is simple, you won't, you often doubt how well you remember it, and you're looking outside. If you're looking at others, you, you try to have one of the information that you remember trying. Now each of you was so much more responsible. And the moment that moment said, not none of you was distracted what's happening around. You, you was much more effect, effective in using your mind in, in creating the shapes, in being expressive, being direct. Please one more time. I like it very much. And really no disregard somebody already did your like you hear the sound of your face, your bubble, nothing distracts you. We can just turn around, how about each other, and then don't. Absolutely. Continue. You will still hear something. Yeah. Okay, and ready for your exercise. Wonderful. That's much easier to come up with Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. So now saying give it a little bit of a of a more speeded up pattern. So let's visualize. Visual is there. Let's give it a pace. My pace. I'll be counting one, two, three, four, five. So we technically discussed the last one like a single element, but of course it will be easy to break four, five. So the first part and the last part. Ready, put your mind to action. I'll, I'll, I'll be giving the numbers now. So I'll give you a little pace. And one, two, three, four, five. One, and one more time. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready, faster count, faster pace, but get, get, keep yourself in the zone. Don't get distracted with anything, just, it's all still created here within. You can stay very cool while your actions speak super loud. Give it uh, a chance to present it. We'll start 
experimental review. Each of us did, will do once at its own pace and its own decision making. Yeah, yes, we have a little performance for here. Yeah, this is a good way, yes, for you to be seen. Yes, 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 almost there. Good, just you do one more time and everyone else will notice and do better. Breathing. Your mind needs oxygen. So to make a good decision, you still breathe. Yes, yes, very good. Just a clarity that this section travels back was a little bit not in your no. Okay, listen. Okay, get back to your position and respond better to my invitation. <laughs> when you have a chance to perform, when you will be walking, not like um, I don't know how you call it. Like a don't compare, just yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me give you an example. Can you be Nikolai and invite me to a performance place? Um, Okay, ladies, your turn. Marilyn, let's start with you.
Very nice. Very nice. Okay, Jim, you're the last one. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Uh, so a little common for, for, for all of you, a uh, similar. Practicing this uh, idea of clarifying the decision, visualizing the line to the smallest details, visualizing the path. Would it be a pressing? Would it be a sharp one? will help you to organize your muscle better because by the end it's well, prepared here but done by the muscles and I would say that each of you can optimize entering and connecting so there was some change but like in between the actions it seems that there is a little a little dis a discrepancy it's like i know when they building airplanes the way how two panels need to be attached to one another requires an exact evenness of the surface because on a speed of 90 100 miles per hour every little thing will cause much more resistance so it's a little bit like like you know how your thoughts have no no crack no dense, how they go one, another, another, what that, that. Okay, line is not broken. Right? Line is not broken. Yeah. The line of the third is not broken. Yeah. How uh, we're always fascinated when some um, somebody who is re, re, not reporter, uh, the clock for dealing, the clutch. Uh, the speaker. Speaker. When a speaker presenting his task and you can see when he's having like a maybe a prepared line and then how fluent he can redirect himself to a little like a joke or find the comparison and get back to his to the structure of his presentation that's always seems very professional and, and fascinating the same in our dancing we might take a little detour but the more clear we are with our general line the more seamless and more efficient we will be producing it. I think the biggest lesson from today is how not relying on anything around you, but just on this idea inside your head, can be a game changer in, in what the people will see, how your action would look like. So it's all about what my teacher was saying, what my partner is expecting, expecting from me, how I am here inside myself, planning to produce a certain movement. And, and this was a big, big difference in how com committed and, and, and controlled and, and professional you look during this slide. Not a simple action. It was pretty complicated action, but it was all looking like you know exactly what you're doing. And even when we don't like, maybe don't certain hundred percent, if we are here like we know what we're doing, yeah, this little bluffing can get us so many, uh, so many doors in our life. Let's take a little break and we'll continue with our last class.